Welcome back to Wooden Shoe Motorsports. So on this episode, we're going to be talking about the pull that we just had at Castile Nas back on April 23rd. All in all, I think things went fairly well. We had a great turnout. A fantastic track prep going on there. We had some great pullers show up. We had some great people show up. I think I said great too many times in that. You said great quite a bit, actually, yeah. yeah. It was great. Hold My Beer did really well. Uh, we were trying out some new parts on her, so setting's not quite right, but uh, we did find out that I'm no longer allowed to touch U-joints or U-bolts holding the U-joints. Who would have thought that I would over-tighten those? Uh, <clears throat> anyways, Hold My Beer had a great run. We ended up in first place by uh, that much. Uh, and that is about the time that the rear axle decided that it did not want to be there anymore. So the center, center section literally gave everybody the bird and the driveline broke into a couple pieces. So, good times. Thanks, Dirk. Good times. Yeah, that don't sound good. With that, Disturbing the Peace did really good. About seven eighths of the way. About the last 10 feet of the pull, I had to shut the motor down. We had an oil pressure issue that came up. I figured it's not worth him having to do extra work to try and rebuild that motor again. So we shut her down. But all in all, she pulled 7,400 down the track. Pretty happy with that pull. So all in all, we'd like to actually thank the Olson family uh, and the Morrill family, uh, the two kind of brainchild behind the Castile Nas poll. Uh, but we'd like to thank both those families for all the work that they put into making that poll uh, actually a really great event and an awesome track. I'd also like to thank the Nas family, uh, Casper and his wife, for uh, allowing us to do the poll behind the castle. A uh, little bit different than what we're normally used to around here, but pulling behind the castle is kind of cool. I'd also like to thank all of the forced labor that we had come out in blue shirts and uh, help run the event. You guys really made a difference out there. So with such an event that we put on, the charitable organizations for Hope's Chance Horse Sanctuary and American Veterans First were able to benefit greatly from this and everyone that showed up. <laughs> some highlights of the event. Enjoy. <laughs>